Hey guys and girls, so this is the Nazgul Witch King sword that I printed and um, it's got a hole in the middle for a dowel, a wooden dowel. However, um, that's not going to give it enough weight for what I want. So, um, little hack, okay? This is an IKEA curtain roll pole rod. You can pick these up for about 2 .99. So it fits perfectly in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically attach all the pieces of the sword to the dowel, glue them together and hopefully it will give it a nice bit of weight because um, this is actually quite weighty and like I say only 2 99 so this is an old one I had lying around and um, they still sell these and I'll try and if I can find it I'll put the link up to show you um, so let's get this put together and see what we get okay so I've got one piece that isn't quite wide enough it just won't fit on it gets stuck so what I've got is a drill with uh, with a 10 and I'm literally just putting it in and just widening it up ever so slightly and then it should hopefully slide on. Now the issue we've got is that obviously this is way too long so I need it to come to about here. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Dremel and I'm just going to cut off this bit here and then hopefully we should have our sword. Okay guys and girls, this is the finished sword. Um, I need to give it one more sand along the blade just to get rid of this one um, join that's still quite visible. And I'll just touch that with a bit of paint. Um, it's got quite a nice weight to it. Uh, I think it's just over a pound. Uh, let me just check. So yeah, we're about, about just over a pound in weight. Um, it's just something nice to add. Um, if you want, I'll do a video on how you can put the um, hole in the middle throughout the sword and see some other swords that one thing of us. So you can use the, the uh, metal IKEA rod. I hope you liked the video. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. And also follow us on uh, Instagram.